have so many unanswered questions in our life. Perhaps one question is, is there a God? What do you think? And if yes, how can we find him? How can we realize him? Is there a way? Is there a way which we can follow? Is there a path which we can walk on to find him? Does he have an address we can go to? The answer to the first question is obvious. But yes, there is God. He exists. Actually, He is the only one that exists. And if that is true, what can we do to realize Him? If something is there, if something is present, if something is in existence, then there should be a way to reach there. And there should not be any doubt about that. But do we know the path? Do we know the address? Can we travel towards that? Are we prepared? We have to answer all these questions ourselves. And then see, how can we reach there? In various beliefs, broadly there are three ways. One is Karma Yoga, Nishkam Karma Yoga, steadfastness in action. And the second one is Bhakti Yoga, devotion, steadfastness in devotion. And the third one is Sankhya Yoga, Gyan Yoga, steadfastness in knowledge. Now which path is the right path? Is steadfastness in action is the right path? Is steadfastness in devotion is the right path? Can we realize Him through this path or that path? Or these two paths may not lead there and you need steadfastness in knowledge. The answer to the question is easy but difficult. In my view, steadfastness in devotion is inherent in steadfastness in action. How can you perform a selfless action without devotion? So devotion is inherent in action, selfless action. Similarly, can you have devotion and not have selfless action? Are you a devotee? Many people would say yes. Do you do Nishkam Karma Yoga? Do you do Akarm? The action which you perform, but it is not performed. And that is called selfless action. You do something without any desire of any fruits from that action and that becomes Nishkam Karmiyoga. 